Hi, my name is Shilam Patel and I'm from Duke University. I'm also a developer for the Internet to Grouper project. This is the admin track of the Grouper training. In this video, I'll be talking about the subject API, and this is part two. So here are the topics that I'll be covering in this part. In part one, I gave an introduction to the subject API, and I talked about the various source adapters. Now in this part, I'll first do a demo of the JNDI source adapter. Then I'll talk about batching and paging. So first of all, I'll start off with the demo. So here I have a fresh copy of uh, Grouper 2.1 installed with the default sources.xml file. I'm going to configure this um, so that it uses my LDAP server for uh, the subject source. So by default, uh, the sources.xml file is configured um, for the for a JDBC uh, source. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that, and there it's gone. Now here is the the JNDI source adapter example. It's commented out right now, so I'll uncomment it. Now I'll go back to the, the top of that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, put the host name of my LDAP server. Then I'm going to set the DN of the user account that's used to bind uh, to the LDAP. I have the password of this account in a file that's encrypted, um, or a file with encrypted uh, data. So I'll put the location of that file here. The subject ID attribute um, for my instance is UID. Uh, that contains the net ID of the user. The name is the display name attribute. I also do have the CN attribute. Um, available as well, but we typically use the, the display name. And for description, I'll use the display name as well. So the next thing to do is configure a few of the searches. Uh, so the first search here is called search subject. So this is the search that gets run when there's a find by ID uh, query. So my ID is uh, UID, so I'll include that here and the object class that I use is person. All of my scopes are going to be subtree scope, which is the default. And I'll add my base here. The next query is the find by identifier. Um, here I'll assume it's the same attribute, the UID attribute. Adjust the object class and the base. And finally we have the search uh, query. This is the query that gets run uh, when there's a find all uh, query that's happening. Uh, so I want that to take into account UID um, and a substring search on CN. And I'll remove this last part from here. And again, the object class is person. So the last thing I want to do for now is to specify the attributes that I want returned um, when making the LDAP queries. Uh, so CN is OK, SN is OK, UID is OK. Department I don't have, so I'll delete that. And I'll replace this last one with edge person affiliation. And why don't I add display name in there as well. So now I'll start up GSH, and assuming I've configured everything correctly, it should start up without any errors, and it's done that. So first thing I'm going to do now is start up a grouper session. And 
Now let's do a, a subject query. So this query is by ID or identifier. And there you can see it has successfully found me. Um, I can run get attributes on that object and you can see all my attributes. Uh, so my interpersonal information is there at staff. My UID is just my first name. Um, my display name. CN, the, the CN value that we have is multi-valued, so both values are included in here. And that's all for that demo. Let's see, so the next topic is batching. Um, batching allows you to query multiple subjects in your source at one time. So for example, say if you're getting all the members of a group in the grouper UI, and that group contains 2,000 members. Without batching, that would mean 2,000 separate queries to your source to resolve each of the subjects one at a time. With batching, you can get multiple subjects in each individual query, therefore reducing the total number of queries that are made to your source. Batching is used in find by ID and find by identifier queries. Some tests have shown that when batching 2,000 subjects with a batch size of 180, subjects can be resolved about 30 times faster than without batching. The JNDI source adapter doesn't support batching in version 2.1, but both JDBC source adapters do. The alternate JDBC source adapter supports uh, batching without any special configuration. The maximum number of bind variables used is 180. So for instance, if you have two subject identifier columns and you perform a search by identifier, the batch size would be 90. The other JDBC source adapter supports batching with configuration. And I'll show you how the configuration for this looks like. So since I removed the, uh, the example JDBC source from my source of that XML file, I'm going to open up the example one, which still has it in there. All right, so here, here it is. So, so to configure batching for the JDBC source adapter, there are a few things that you have to do. Uh, the first thing you have to do is specify uh, this parameter, the use in clause for ID and identifier, and set that to true. The next thing you have to do is specify the identifier attributes uh, parameter, and the value here is going to be a comma-separated list of values for all the identifiers uh, that you have. And then you also have to modify um, some of your queries. So the, the search subject query, which is used for the, the find by uh, ID, um, first of all has to be modified. Uh, so before this part right here, the s dot subject ID equals question mark would have been part of the where clause. Um, with batching, that gets removed and added to a separate uh, parameter where the name is uh, in clause here. And instead, the WHERE clause gets uh, this value right here, which is in clause and brackets. Basically, when a, for instance, when a, uh, a query happens where there are, uh, say, 100 subjects, and assuming the, the batch size is larger than that, then uh, what that would end up doing is putting 100 of uh, these statements, the s dot subject ID equals question mark, into the WHERE clause, but separated by OR, um, or statements. So the next query here that needs to be updated is the one that gets used when searching by identifier. And a similar thing happens here. Uh, the A dot value equals question mark used to be part of the WHERE clause, uh, but that got removed and replaced with uh, the IN clause in brackets. Uh, and this new parameter uh, with name in clause uh, is added.
So the next topic is uh, paging. This feature allows you to limit the number of results that are returned when you perform uh, a search on the source. So for instance, uh, you may search for the name John and there may be a, uh, well, I mean, there may be a lot of people that uh, have that name John, uh, maybe a, a thousand or so. Getting all 1,000 results back from your source can be expensive and may not be very useful for the caller. Uh, the caller would probably need to narrow the search down. Uh, so paging will make it so that the query made on the source will not return more than the specified number of results back. But actually, one more than the result, uh, one more result than the maximum specified will be uh, returned uh, and searched so that the subject API will know that there are more results and it could form, inform the caller. If the maximum page size is reached, uh, Grouper will still perform a search uh, of the search query uh, defined by ID and identifier uh, and add that to the list of subjects if that subject wasn't already there. So this is because if there's an exact match based off of ID or identifier, that may be what the caller was trying to find. So paging is supported uh, in the JMDI source adapter as well as both of the JDBC source adapters. Uh, with the JMDI source adapter, it works by adding a count limit search control to the query being made. Uh, with the JDBC source adapters, the queries will be appropriately modified. Uh, for instance, with MySQL, a limit clause would get added uh, to the queries. And here's, the, here's an example configuration that you would add uh, to the source in the sources.xml file uh, to enable this feature. So that's all for this topic. Uh, you can click on the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic. And here are some more links that you can visit with more information. Thanks.